Hi everyone, I'm Bridget with Sleepopolis here to give you the complete guide to circadian rhythm. Circadian rhythms are what's behind your mental, physical, and behavioral changes every 24 hours. One of the most important ones is the sleep-wake cycle. That's because it controls your sleep patterns and plays a big role in your health. I'm gonna go over more about how circadian rhythm works, why it matters for your well being, and what you can do to have a healthy circadian rhythm. But first, I do wanna point out this video is meant to be informative. It should not take the place of advice from a healthcare professional. If you do feel you're suffering from a sleep disorder or any other medical condition, you should see a trained professional. Circadian rhythm is part of your body's internal clock that regulates when you sleep and wake up in a 24 hour cycle. Think if you tend to feel energized or tired around the same time of day. That's circadian rhythm. It's controlled by the part of your brain that responds to light, which is why people tend to be more awake during the day and less so at night. Your brain associates the light with needing to be alert. The word circadian comes from the Latin terms circa and diem, which mean around and day. Researchers have been studying circadian rhythm since the 18th century. It started when a scientist saw a plant opening and closing its leaflets each day in complete darkness, showing this plant had some kind of a biological clock. 200 years later, scientists discovered that your genes alert circadian rhythms and that these rhythms synchronize with light-dark cycles. Although the circadian rhythm is really important to sleep and wake cycles, it does more than just that. The circadian rhythm also communicates with the brain and body to regulate other essential physiological functions like blood pressure, core temperature, and metabolism. In fact, neuroscientists think that almost every cell in the body has a circadian clock, and there are trillions of cells in your body. They're all working to make sure your energy and body functions are at their peak levels at the right time of day. Mainly two processes control circadian rhythm, the internal biological clock system and external surroundings. The internal clock system is all the biological clocks in your body. They control a lot of your physical, mental, and behavioral patterns. There's one master clock in your brain made up of 20,000 nerve cells. This group of cells is called the suprachiasmatic nucleus, or SCN. That's a fun one to say, huh? Remember SEN as I'll talk more about it later. The master clock governs all the biological clocks in your body and it's greatly influenced by daylight. When your eyes detect daylight, that light travels down a neural pathway to the SEN, triggering alertness. The SEN also has receptors for melatonin, which a lot of people know as the sleep hormone. When there is no light, your master clock is telling your brain to produce melatonin. That explains why some of us, like myself, will feel drowsy when it's dreary outside. Although light does play a huge role in setting these sleep and wake times, there are other factors. If you're not getting enough sleep, if you've been awake for too long of a period, the different seasons, and even daylight saving time can all throw off your sleep pattern. Your age and lifestyle can also impact your circadian rhythm. One common example of your circadian rhythm being disrupted is when you travel and then experience jet lag. By the way, if you have any crazy jet lag stories, I'd love for you to put them in the comments section so I could read them later. I remember one time my friend said she accidentally put salt in her coffee instead of sugar. Yikes. Experts say regular sleep habits are more likely to give people consistent energy levels throughout the day. And if you're a napper, it's okay as long as you're taking that nap when you're tired and you're back up by three o'clock in the afternoon. If you wanna learn more about the benefits of napping, go ahead and click that link in the description below and you can see the full article. The SEN also regulates your metabolism and hormone production. Remember earlier how I said almost every cell in the body has a circadian clock? The SEN will synchronize some of them in places like your liver, muscles, or lungs to connect with releasing hormones or changing body temperatures. The master clock in your body will send signals to trigger certain body functions, and then your biological clock will set the circadian rhythm in motion. So if you've ever heard a woman say she feels like her clock is ticking near the end of her childbearing years, that's actually her biological clock controlling that feeling. The biological clock works with the master clock to keep the circadian rhythm in sync with what's happening around you or what you're doing. Events like the sun rising or setting, the temperature or humidity outside, times you're exercising, and times you eat are all impacting the circadian rhythm. 
Certain marine species will burrow into the sand instead of being swept out to sea because of circadian rhythms. And birds migrate across long distances because of circadian rhythms, so they control a lot of species and their activities. So why is a healthy circadian rhythm important? It can be linked to lower stress, longevity, and a strong metabolism. Irregular circadian rhythms have been linked to chronic health conditions such as sleep disorders, obesity, and depression. For instance, research shows people who work the night shift have a higher risk of obesity and diabetes. Blue light from the computer, TV, or cell phone screens can also throw off your circadian rhythm. Staring at those screens for too long can reduce your production of melatonin. Your metabolism is largely controlled by genetics and maintaining energy through food and drinks, but studies show it can also be impacted by circadian rhythm and environmental factors like light. If you're not getting quality sleep, your body's not going to feel fully energized, and to make up for that, you might feel hungry as your body's searching for that energy. This could lead to weight gain or even obesity. Researchers did an experiment with rats for this. They replaced the time of day that's completely dark with a dim lit environment for some rats. Those rats ended up gaining weight. The body's metabolism follows a 24 hour clock with hormones, enzymes, and digestive systems primed for food in the morning and afternoon. Some studies show a snack before bed can disrupt your circadian rhythm and throw off your metabolism because your body's wired to not have additional energy at night. So put that cookie down. Research shows when food is consumed is more critical to weight loss than the amount of food actually eaten. One study compared the effect of a large breakfast versus a large dinner and found the group of people who ate the large breakfast lost more weight than those who had the large dinner. As for exercise, as I mentioned earlier, muscles also have their own internal clocks. And those clocks, because of circadian rhythm, also function better during the day than the night. So this means a daytime workout can be more efficient and beneficial to health than working out at night or super early in the morning. Mental health is also linked to your biological clock and environmental cues like light and darkness. If you've ever felt down or depressed when we get into late fall and winter months, that's believed to be the circadian rhythm affecting your mood. It's called seasonal affective disorder, and it typically starts and ends at the same times each year, when we have less daylight. Signs of this disorder can also be having less energy, less interest in activities, trouble sleeping, weight or appetite changes, trouble concentrating, and suicidal thoughts. But this doesn't just happen seasonally. A disrupted circadian rhythm can cause mood disorders at any time. Your stress, exercise habits, diet, and sleep can all throw off your circadian rhythm. The treatment for circadian rhythm disorders can sometimes require help from a sleep specialist or a behavior therapist. Here are some tips to have a healthier circadian rhythm. Stick with a consistent sleep schedule. Go for a morning or afternoon walk. Limit evening technology use. Eat earlier in the day with a light meal for dinner, sleep in complete darkness, and try to reduce stress. And if you're having sleep issues, also try not taking naps and avoiding caffeine and avoiding bright light from screens before bedtime. Well, that's all I have for today for your guide to circadian rhythm. I hope that this was helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to go to sleepopolis.com or drop your comments below, and I will see you next time.